Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am excited to try the Shan Nixo, the Remix palette. The one that she collabed with BH Cosmetics. And I purchased mine from La Femme Beauty, that code instead, which I will link in the description bar. And this retails for around 43 New Zealand dollars. I know it's very expensive, but if you really think about it, even if I order it from bhcosmetics.com, the shipping cost to New Zealand is gold. So this is her second collaboration with BH Cosmetics. Unfortunately, I don't have the first palette that she made, which is the eyeshadow and lip palette. This is what it looks like. And this is a 18 color eyeshadow palette so on the front there the plastic just came off on this part right here i think this is the ones that she's got in her first collab so you got all your neutrals old colors right here and a nice transition shades and a white shade right there and on the back oh my gosh the plastic so it came with this protective film on the back, it comes with all the pinky shades and all of like pop of color shades and also comes with a mirror and the pen size is actually quite big. I'm going to swatch this shade. Ooh, they feel so smooth. And that's very pigmented. And this shade is interesting, so I'm going to swatch that. And oh my god, these shadows are very pigmented. And on the back, let's swatch that nice pink shade and that shimmer shade right here. So these are the swatches on my hand. The shimmer shades, they're a little bit gritty to, to touch, but they are so pigmented. And very smooth and these are the shades and this color right here looks so pretty so i think i might do something with that and so as this champagne gold color i've already done my face makeup and my brows looks a little bit strong because i just got them done from off and on i think i am going to start off with clarity which is this one right here and I'll use a flat brush. So that's a matte shade. So I already have a highlight in my inner corner as well, but we can intensify that later. For transition shade, I think I am going to start off with a mixture of Buttercup and Terracotta because I feel like if I use Buttercup alone, it won't show up on my skin tone. I will grab a preferably a fluffy brush. And they're quite pigmented. Oh, this is pretty. So I'll just blend that on my crease. And then I'll go back again and dip more in terracotta and kind of concentrate that on the outer V. And blend that in. I'm going to switch over to a skinnier brush and I'm gonna go with the shade I think I'll try Vampit which is this one right here oh that's very pigmented so I'll focus that on the outer V and then slowly work my way into the outer thirds of the eye to create like a wing and then i'm gonna go back to clear uh, actually to buttercup which is this one right here and i'm going to use that to blend the crease doesn't really show up on my skin tone because i'm quite tan but it's a good blending shade with another brush which is sort of like your 217 brush I am going to take a mixture of Vampet 
which is this one right here, and dark rose, which is this one. And I am going to put that on my crease. And then I'm going to go back to the shade Vampire. This one right here with a skinnier blending brush. So this is what the eyes are looking. So I'm going to go and use this shade right here called Avocado. It's sort of like a um, transition color because if you put it on top of any color, it gives this maroony slash red tone to it and it's so pretty so what I'm going to do is pick up a flat brush and apply that onto my lid so it added a really nice kind of like gloss finish to the eyes oh my god i'm obsessed already so now what i'm going to do is pop a little bit of glow baby of this one with my ring finger and just dab that in the middle to highlight and then blend that all in so it created like a spotlight look onto the lids then for the lower lash line i am just gonna use terracotta all over my lower lash line for the outer bit i think i'm going to try and put a little bit of vampire with a flat brush And then dark rose to connect the outer V to the top. And then I'm going to go back to the blending brush and blend. So for inner corner highlight, I will take this shade called Island Glow. Pop that in the inner corner. For the brow bone highlight, I think I'm going to stick with Clarity. Maybe with a mixture of Holy Grail. This is my eye makeup look. It's so pretty. I'm going to quickly finish off my eyes by applying mascara. I don't think I will ever use false lashes for this look because I want the shadows to speak for itself. And then I'll quickly finish off my lipstick and I will give you my thoughts about the palette. For the lips, I just used two MAC lipsticks which are Velvet Teddy and Pink Pearl Pop. And this is what I came up with. So overall, I really like this eye makeup look and I cannot wait to make more eye looks with this. This is such a great palette especially if you're a beginner because one for $40 you pay for 18 eyeshadows as opposed to getting maybe 12 or 10 eyeshadows from high-end makeups and the pen size are quite big that you could literally fit in most of your face brushes. So if you want to do a highlight or a slight contour or fill in your brows, you could definitely use the shadows from this palette. And I love the fact that both sides has got mirror. So it only ever depends on which side is your preference. But for me, because I have a few shades that I like from this side, which is considered the more natural daytime look. And these sides i have a few that i like which totally complements the entire look so you've got pops of colors and purples that i think i would never ever wear but i feel like having them in this palette i would totally dive into the colors especially this bright bright pink right here this is such a shan xo color and the packaging is so cute this is great for traveling because you pretty much have everything in there. If you forget to bring your highlighter, I swear to you, like the shimmer shades in this palette, you could always wear as a highlighter. 
and I love the fact that the shades are very versatile and it's not intimidating or it's not too much to look at because sometimes you get palettes that are very neutral that you can only ever create two makeup looks as opposed to this one which you can create a lot of looks and you could even use this palette for your face as well and good job Shannon and by far this is probably one of my favorite BH Cosmetics palette that I own I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial using this palette make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and I will catch you on my next video bye